looking at a second example, of course, you start by expressing everything given there in form of prime factors. So the prime factor of six, the prime factor of 36, prime factor of 60, the prime factor of 900. So we are getting the, we have gotten the prime factors, then let the unknown number be X. So we first of all ask ourselves, what would be the GCD of the two given numbers, 36 and 60, without our unknown? So in this case, we find that the GCD of 36 and 60 is a 12, but the GCD of the three numbers is six. So essentially what that tells us is that when we, when we bring in X, it does away with one of the two here. Because the factor of six is a two times three on Now, moving on, if you compare the LCM of the numbers given, that six and six, their LCM is 180, but the LCM of the three numbers is 900. The LCM of the two numbers, that six and six, was 180. But when we bring in the third number, the LCM raises all the way to 900. Essentially, this means that our X is introducing an extra five. Remember we have one five here. So it is going to increase the factor of five. Now, this is what I mean. x must have a factor of five to power two. So now, so far we, we know that the factors that we must have in x, x must have a two times three, y from the GCD of six. Then from the LCM, our x must have a factor of five to power two. So this would be the lowest, this would be the lowest number for X, which gives us, that's 25, gives us a 150. Now again, we must have the factors two times three because of, because of our, because of our GCD. Now we must have a factor of five to power two from our LCM. but we can increase the power three to power, we can increase the power of three because the else, remember our, our LCM of 900 had a power three, three to power two here. So this would be the two possible numbers, 150 and 450. 